Meghan kicks off her heels. Pregnant Duchess briefly resorts to flats on day one of the royal tour, her first appearance at a royal engagement without her signature stilettos. Her wardrobe is synonymous with sharp tailoring and sky-high stilettos, but Meghan broke with convention this morning when she ditched her heels for flats for the first time since becoming a royal. The Duchess of Sussex, who announced this week she is pregnant with her first child, swapped her signature heels for a pair of Rothy's ballet pumps as she left Sydney's Taronga Zoo with her husband on the first official day of her Pacific tour. The subtle wardrobe tweak marks the first time Meghan, 37, has worn flats for a public engagement since her engagement to Harry was announced in November 2017. A stiletto deretti, her favorite brands include Stuart Weitzman and Aquazura, and she is rarely seen in anything lower than a 4-inch heel when on duty. While she has been spotted in flat shoes on a number of occasions, such as her first public appearance with Harry at the 2017 Invictus Games in Toronto, they have been firmly relegated to the back of her wardrobe since becoming a duchess. As such, Meghan's latest ensemble, seen as she left Sydney's Taranga Zoo on Tuesday, suggests she is opting for comfort over style as she enters her second trimester. While the glowing mother-to-be has not spoken publicly about her pregnancy symptoms, it is not uncommon for women to experience soreness and swelling while expecting. Val Wilcox, an antenatal teacher and practice manager at NCT, told Mail Online, many pregnant women develop mild symptoms in their legs, ankles and feet. They could be achy or swollen and their feet can even increase in size due to the pregnancy hormones which can cause the joints and ligaments to relax. Flying can exacerbate certain problems but moving around during the flight will help. Mild symptoms are usually nothing to worry about but it's worth mentioning them to your midwife. Pregnant women should wear whatever shoes they're comfortable in. Their choice of footwear won't have any effect on the condition, just on how they comfy they feel, but many women find they can't fit into their favorite shoes so turn to wider flats and flip-flops. Parenting expert Siobhan Freegard, founder of Channel Mum, com added, Megan is on her feet all day wearing high heels and both are well known to exacerbate the condition. Many women report going up a shoe size or two during pregnancy to stay comfortable. Meghan already uses the celeb trick of wearing a one-size-bigger heel to avoid blisters, so she may need to go up a size again and try silicone insoles, or simply swap to comfier shoes with a lower heel. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's first child, due next spring will be seventh in line to the throne when he or she is born, the Queen said in a statement she was delighted, while Meghan's mother Doria confirmed she was very happy about the lovely news and looking forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Harry and Meghan, who announced their news on Monday, have just embarked on a 16-day royal tour which will see them visit Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga.